Good morning, AP Stats, and welcome to your first day. Today we're going to be discussing the different ways that we consider variables. I know most of you are used to thinking, well, a variable is something like 3x plus 2 equals 7, and then you go ahead and solve and isolate, and you're like, yay, algebra, great. Okay, but today we're going to talk about different kinds of variables within statistics. Now, there are two main kinds of variables. There are categorical var variables, And they're also called sometimes qualitative variables. Um, this is the one that AP Classroom is going to use, but they mean they mean the same thing. And then there's quantitative variables. Quant it. If you were in my class last year, you remember that my spelling is atrocious, but that's okay. Um, now there are. The distinction here is a categorical variable takes on values of a category, really creative name, or group labels, something like um, things that are happy or sad. Those are categorical things. Those aren't measured. Um, or another categorical thing like, did you sign up for my AP classroom already? That would be a yes, no category. Um, quantitative would be something you could measure or count. So... Like if I looked at my class website and counted how many of you had already signed up for my AP classroom, that would be a quantitative measure. So you can have quantitative measures and qualitative measures that are somewhat interrelated, but remember that categorical, that's a type. Like is it happy? Is it sad? Is it blue? Is it yellow? Um, is it um, true or false? Is it um, in which category of uh, BMI? BMI is a good one. Let's talk about that. So let's talk about categorical BMI versus quantitative BMI. So if you're looking at categories, you could... Um, split into like healthy BMI, overweight, obese. These would be categories within BMI. Now, if you actually said, like, for example, my BMI is somewhere in the like 21.2, I totally made up that number. I don't know what my BMI is, but it's some number in between 0 and 40, generally speaking. If you're over 40, you're setting some kind of record. Um, so, quantitative BMI, it's always some kind of number that's measured. Um, categorical BMI, it's some kind of label. That's all you really need to understand for today. Today's pretty light. Um, good luck on the test and Email me with questions.